Fast Five. Ah. Number yeah. number five of the Fast and Furious five series. Five Fast, Five Furious. It is a movie Stupid. for sure. It was directed by Justin Lin, which I think is a detriment. Obviously. He, um, I don't know. He, he does. I don't know how I feel about Justin Lin. He does the action. Like, I appreciate his desire for practical stunts. That's what I love about yeah. this series is all the practical stuff makes it so much I, better. I feel like that's all you care about these days. I feel like I can make the stupidest movie, uh -huh. but if I did it like all practical, you, you would be like, yeah, this is a good movie. I don't think that's fair, but I oh, kind of understand what you're saying. Absolutely I, fair. Well, okay. Did you see Fury Road yet? I can't remember if we talked about that. Yes. How much better is that than the majority of action films that come out? The majority of action films or the majority of these movies? What? The majority are, are of you, action films. I think it's, I thought it was good. Mad Max Fury Road, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like one of the best actions that's come out in a long time. And it's because the action actually has weight to it when it happens. Like right. you're like, oh wow, this feels important. Or like John Wick, right? That yeah. was all like choreographed and practical and put in frame and not, you know, shaky cam, not quick cuts, not it's like they actually use it to showcase what they're doing. And then the story, like it it's the difference between Mad Max Fury Road and uh Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious, the story is only there to move you to the next uh set piece racing scene yeah yeah right it's it's just there to be like filler until you get to the next action moment mad max Fury road the action is there to uh hold up the story it's there like the way it should be um but so justin's lynn uh insistence on doing practical makes these movies a lot better but his willingness to give up story and give up logic really, really hurts everything. Is he else. giving up story and logic or does he just not know how to write a good movie? He, well, I don't think he knows how to write a good movie. I think he does write these and well, at least he talks about it. Like he writes them. He's like, Oh yeah, I came up with this and I came up with that. And he's like a lot of like inside jokes. And he's like, he knows Fast and Furious isn't taken seriously and that it's not taken as like a a good uh yeah. good movie. So he's like, it doesn't matter, who cares? Like it's just Fast and Furious. But like that's not the attitude you should take when you're you're making something, you know? Yeah, no. Like he really people still want you to take it seriously because it he they uh, he, yeah. <laughs> he really cares. It's not Sharknado where you don't have to care about it. It's yeah. People he, go into these movies hoping for like a really good action movie. He really cares so, about the stunts, yeah. about all the car scenes. He's like, "Where will you destroy four or five of the same car? Because I want it to flip perfectly. I want it to roll over. I want it to do like it. I have this vision in my head, and I'm gonna fight for it. I love that. I think that's great. But his willingness to be like the audience just needs to get over logic." <laughs> And, you know, they'll enjoy it way more if they do that. It's so frustrating. Dumb. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things. Um, but, yeah, so Fast Five, we open up. The bus Ugh. that Vin Diesel was on at the end of four is turned over. And apparently okay, everyone is dead. That. Everyone in that bus is dead. No one survived that bus crash. You don't have this is yeah, this is an issue that I have with a lot of movies, not just this one, where they are trying to break someone out by intentionally causing an accident. Mm -hmm. Like, you could have easily, easily just killed Vin Diesel. Like, oh, yeah. That was, that was your plan? Yeah. Was your plan really to have this thing flip over, like, a hundred times <laughs> and, like, just hope he survives? Because if that was real life, there's no way he survives. There's no, no way any of them survive if it's as bad as they make it look in the movie. Oh no, for sure. That There's everyone no on that way. bus was dead. Um also it's so irresponsible. Also, didn't Paul Walker put his car in front of the bus? Yes. 
Paul Walker would be dead too. It was like they just murdered everybody. Well, boy, do I have some news for you. What's that? He is. Oh, we're not there yet. Spoilers. Too. Spoilers. We haven't gotten to that part of the movies yet. Um, so, yeah, it's just so dumb when I see that. I'm like, that was ridiculous. Yes. You could have, and more than likely, just killed the person you're breaking out. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they escape to Rio, and Paul Walker and Mia, I'm going to, I don't know why I'm terrible at that. Um, they are hiding out and Vin Diesel is somewhere else. I don't remember where Vin Diesel was. He is. Mm. They don't really explain it, do they? No, they're just laying low. Yeah. And, but they get hooked back up with uh, the guy from the first movie who hated Paul Walker and was in love with Mia. And they're like, Oh, let's do, I got this job set up. This will help you guys. This will be a lot of money. I was hoping to wait until Dom got here, but he does he's not here yet, so you guys can help me out. And they do, they're stealing this car, but then they f- figure out it's a double cross and uh Vin Diesel shows up halfway through and they're they're stealing these cars out of a moving train, which Okay, I hated that. <laughs> which I was talking about in number 4 about when they were trying to steal the the uh tankers from the truck I was like, oh, oh this it was is like a train heist. Yeah, this is very symbolic of a train heist. Then they're like, let's just do a train heist. And I was like, let's okay, just do guys. that. Like that's that's a bit much. Like first of all, there's no way you would get as far as you did without the conductor noticing. <clears throat> yeah, there were so many cars. It, uh, they were like dragging cars. Yeah, there was the the part where I don't remember how, but the the car was attached to the train. On the side, it got ran over were, by the car that was the truck that was uh, cut into it. Right, and so and they're approaching that bridge mm-hmm. right where there's no room. Yeah, if this were real life, and that car hits that bridge, you're derailing that whole. Train. Oh yeah, for sure. That- you are derailing it and killing ninety percent of the people on board <laughs> to steal a car. Yeah, you don't care about anybody, but the car. You are killing all these innocent. <laughs> this is a passenger vehicle. Is this it? Was like it a passenger car. train though? I'm Be- pretty sure they showed passengers. I don't remember that. Maybe, but is it weird that they would transport cars in a train like this? No, I don't think they do that. No, I don't it's think so either. For this movie, yeah. Um, but yeah, so they they do all that, and Paul Walker is like stuck on the train. Vin Diesel's driving his car next to the train. Like you said, they're coming up to the end of the bridge and Paul Walker has to jump off of the train onto the car right before the explosion. But Vin Diesel's going way too fast where he can't stop. So they drive off a cliff. What did you oh, think about yeah. that moment? So stupid. <laughs> like they are both going down and that car is landing on somebody. <clears throat> That's uh, how it should have. Maybe. And also, when do you think the car would drop faster? Uh, maybe. I, would think I, so. I I don't know. I don't know physics and numbers. <laughs> I'm, uh, not a, I'm not a whiz. Well, but I do believe that you hitting the water from that high up mm-hmm. is going to break some bones. Well, so that's something Justin Lin said, the director. Oh boy. He said, Did "Yeah, a lot of people. A lot of people told me that this is impossible that they would die, and so we we looked at what it would be like if it, we did it from a survivable height." And it just wasn't impressive. So he said, who cares? We're just going to do it from here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. See, that's so but this, stupid. This is like the first moment. I think it's probably fair. This is probably the first moment when this movie starts taking a turn into being a superhero movie. Where it transcends itself. Yeah. It's like no longer grounded in reality. Because the first two and the third are, are pretty realistic even though the stories yeah. are contrived and all that stuff, the stuff that happens, it's all possible stuff. Yeah. It's all like, you could see Remember it the happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, number four, you're getting a little bit out there, you know, but it's still like, Oh, this is stuff that cars can't do, but it's not like superhumans, you know, if 
fast five with this scene of them driving off the cliff and them surviving. They jump out of the car and everything's okay. It's like, okay, now you're becoming a superhuman. And it's fine. I don't know. I, I go back and forth about it because it's it's really just a um a sandbox to do crazy things now is what they've created. They've created this franchise, this universe for them to be like, well, what, what's the next crazy thing we can do? Cause it's going to get a lot crazier just so you know, uh, what's, oh, I'm the, sure. what's the, what's the next bigger, crazier thing that we can do? How can we wrap this up? How can we? And so for them to be superhuman makes sense, but it's still it, a car off a submarine. <laughs> it's not earned at all. The, the, them being able to fight super well, them being able to use guns super well, them being able to yeah. just everything that they do is like, no, oh, none of this is earned. And uh, in this one, they so that happens, and then they move, end up moving to Rio, I believe, right? This is Rio, yeah. And uh, they decide because they just want money. Right, that's the driving force behind this one. Yeah, they're criminals. Yeah, but they're like, they're upset because Which is a real problem I have with the next movie. By the way, <laughs> Braga uh, is connected to with a guy in Rio, and they're like, they want to get back at him. Oh no, he so okay. There's so many dumb connections that are so unnecessary. Like they they want it to be like this layered, like everything's connected, everything matters, but it's like so forced they move to rio they find out the guy who stole the chip or one of the chip in the car um has all this money they now have the chip he's looking for them they're like you know what the best way to stop this guy is to take his money and then we'll just run off into the sunset i yeah. believe that's what happened i could be wrong it's been i'm getting you know four five and six all jumbled in my head but i believe that's yeah. what's going on but they're like, we got to get a crew together. So they call Ludacris. Who Luda! is... I, this, this is the most upsetting change to me. But Ludacris in Too Fast, Too Furious was a mechanic who ran races. Yeah. That's it. Now he's like this super genius who can hack into things and like knows computers and like is an expert at it. And I was like... Like he's like Q from uh Yeah Bond. Bond. And it's like not it doesn't make any sense. Like no. since when? How did how did Ludacris from Too Fast or Furious become this? You know? It's there's no logic behind it at all. I wanna talk about the rock. Well, hang on. <laughs> okay. You, you know what? Fine. <laughs> Uh, but they so they bring in Ludacris, they bring in Tyrese again from the second one, they bring in Han, they call him in, they call in Gal Gadot, uh, Godot, <sighs> and uh, but Vin Diesel's laying out what they need, and he's like, we also need two drivers who are two precision drivers, and Paul Walker's like, well, you already know we got that, and he's like, yeah, that's right, we're great, so, so. and it's just like. This weird thing where Paul or Vin Diesel is the brains behind the operation. And it's like, I thought he was the muscle. Wasn't that always the thing? He was the muscle behind this. And now he's like the godfather genius who can, mm. I don't know. I don't understand his, <laughs> his abilities. Um, it's just dumb. And is it, is there anyone else on the team? For this one, and you got Paul Walker, you have uh, Vin Diesel, Mia, Ludacris, Tyrese, Han, uh, Gal Gadot. I think that's it, right? Um, yes, I believe so. I'm trying to think, I don't, I don't remember anyone else, but I think that's it. Oh, the two Mexican guys show back up, don't they? At the end. In this one. Yeah, I think. Or Weren't they recruited for this team? They might have been. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Um, but this one is much more team focused than the fourth one. The fourth one was like very much just 
Vin Diesel and Paul Walker. And this yeah. one has much more of a team and it's much more of a heist movie than anything else. And I hate heist movies. I think they're so dumb. They're they're like entertainment like that's just wrapped up in like just a big lie. <laughs> you know? Mm. Um but anyways, you want to talk about The Rock. Go ahead. What did okay. you have to say about The Rock? So I'll preface this by saying you I the like rock. The Rock. I I don't think he's a great actor, but he's fine. Well he's he's exactly ever, yeah. like when they use The Rock well, it's like perfect role for him. Right? Like Jumanji, he was great in. Um Yep. But what else he, is he in? Why can't I think of anything else that he's good in? Uh, skyscraper rampage didn't see skyscraper uh, didn't see rampage i didn't see any of these crampy movies be cool he's good in the stuff he's good in but it's because the role is perfect for his character he's not yeah. he doesn't have a lot of layers he's always kind of the same but it's like fine as long as the character is that's what the character is calling for well i absolutely hated him in this movie really I didn't think he's that bad. His character is dumb. His dialogue is really bad. And the dialogue is bad. The but the dialogue is bad for everybody. It's bad for everyone, but his seemed to stand out. And let me tell you, there's one <laughs> All right, tell that me. really stands out to me that I've not been able to forget. Mm-hmm. So it's it's towards the beginning, and one of his agents comes and basically says, I've got good news and bad news. And he says, You know, I like my dessert before I like my food. So the dude gives him the good news, which is weird. Don't people normally like the bad news first? Isn't that kind of the, the thing? Yeah. So he does that. So then after the guy tells him, he's like, all right, now hit me with the veggies. <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. So stupid. <laughs> hit me with the veggies? I'm like, Ooh. look, look, you're not fooling anyone, Rock. We know that veggies probably are your dessert, and yeah. you don't eat a lot of ice cream. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't remember that line. Hit, hit, me with the, hit me with the veggies. I trust you. Um, I thought I, I, saw, uh, I thought bringing in the Rock was a good addition to this series, though. I mean, yeah, in in a way that it couldn't get worse. <laughs> well, so you. Oh, actually, I think I can make it worse, and it's going to be Fast and Furious Seven. Hey, well, have you seen well, that yet? We'll get there. No, just right. six. Seven. You're in for a good time. Uh, no, you keep saying that. <laughs> it's not been true so far. Uh, the Rock in comparison to... So you have Vin Diesel who is becoming a superhero, right? Yep. Paul Walker who's like a ninja fighter out of nowhere. Yep. Like it just none of this stuff makes sense. So you have them becoming larger than life you need an antagonist who is equally larger than life. And I think the rock was a great choice to be their foil, to be there. Because he's physically larger than life. Yeah. Be, well, he's so imposing, right? Like you're like, okay, how would you ever stop these guys? And you're like, okay, the rock seems like a great choice. Now saying all that, I recognize Justin Lin's idea of them being so superhuman or that Vin Diesel's like the biggest strong man in the world. Like Mm -hmm. none of that makes sense. You know, like he's Vin Diesel's muscular and looks strong, but like he can't, Oh man, I wish you've already seen seven because I'd make a strong point right now. Uh, he's not like the strongest thing ever, you know, it's not, ah, there's so many examples I want to use from seven. Uh, he, they just treat him like he catches the engine, right? In, uh, he like knocks the, um, the chain down and grabs the chain and is holding the engine over the guy's head. Yeah. yeah, That, yeah. That would be impossible for someone to do. Obviously he's not holding the whole weight of the engine. Like that's the way the chain lifts work, but to catch the momentum, you, you wouldn't be able to do that. No, it would you rip your arm off. <laughs> You'd definitely crush a guy's head. Um, but they just treat him like 
there's nothing that he can't do. He's so strong that he can do anything. Plus, he's driven by family. And what's stronger than that? What more motivation do you need? It's all about family, Taylor. That's another problem I have with these movies. It's the emphasis on their family. Yep. But we'll get to that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they're, they're planning the heist. And this is part of the thing that I don't like about heist movies. Every heist movie follows the same formula. You spend 80% of the movie building up to a heist you know is going to fail that fails on screen, but then you find out, oh, surprise, we had a secret plan all along that we never alluded to. We never gave any hints to. There's no way you would ever figure this out just by watching the movie that this is the second plan. So it's not like you can go back and rewatch it and be like, oh man, there's a clue there. There's a clue here. There's. It's just like, no, we just kept it a secret from you. And here it is, plot twist. And it's like, all right, this is boring. Well, the whole first half of this movie doesn't matter at all. Well, who cares that you're doing this? Are you doing that? Like you, what's it matter? So yeah. that's that's most of the movie from this point on is them preparing for a big heist that really doesn't matter. I oh I just hate it. I hated it so much. <laughs> it's so dumb. Well, what do you um, hate? I thought it was very predictable that uh, Michelle Rodriguez was going to be back in some capacity. Why? I I don't know cuz she doesn't come in until the post credit scene in this one. Yeah, if something about her off-screen death was uh, it it wasn't enough for me. Yeah. Okay, I well, I'm that's, trying to remember that's something for the movie. next movie. We can talk about that in the yeah. next movie. This one there this is the uh where they steal the um Yeah, this is another thing I want to talk about. Where they steal the vault? Yes. Okay. Let's talk about how dumb this is. Okay. They steal this vault. It is it is hooked up to Vin Diesel and Paul Walker's car. Yep. They are flying through the streets so recklessly. <laughs> I don't know how they didn't kill anybody. Yeah. The, this thing is not like on a straight road. They're making turns. Well, it's going up on the sidewalk. It's you, hitting vehicles. You remember. You could have easily just hit a family standing at the bus stop and just destroyed them. Like there is no family left anymore. They you, are gone. You forget though that they are precision drivers. They aren't doing a good job controlling the safe. Everything they did was intentional. They manipulated I, that safe. So stupid. I thought I thought that was a kind of a cool scene though, don't you think? Like the idea of dragging this huge safe throughout town and using it as a weapon and stuff. No, I thought it was dumb. You just but yeah, you know what? no, I it's a good idea for straight up I, villain. I'll give you <laughs> no, that's not fair. I'll give you that this move these movies are bad, right? The writing's bad, a lot of the motivations are bad, the inciting instances are dumb. But you gotta give it a lot more credit than you are for the stunts that they're doing, the action that they're doing. Like that you've never seen something like that before. Where they're dragging a safe with two different cars and manipulating it in different ways and stuff, like that, that stuff is pretty cool. It's it's interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's cool. I feel like it's the same thing. No, <laughs> but anyways, they are murdering people left and right. Yeah. The body count has got to be in the twenties at this point. Mm -hmm. They are being chased, and they realize that they are not going to be able to get away in their current state. They're being dragged down too much. Yeah. So Vin Diesel releases Paul Walker's car or he does whatever Paul Walker goes on. Yeah. And it's just Vin Diesel left and presumably he should be killed. Yeah. So he, they're on a bridge and Vin Diesel is like, this was always the plan disconnects Paul Walker. Paul Walker drives off. Vin Diesel starts using the safe as a like a what are those things called a flail is that right is that the right word uh yeah like the swinging thing yeah you, you got a stick with like a, a chain star. and a bowl yeah like a morning star or a mace <clears throat> not a mace a mace is just a stick with a head on it i think it's a flail is a, i think it's right yes um but he starts taking out cars with it and kills the main bad guy or not almost kills him 
takes him out. But the, the Rock shows up and kills him. And The Rock and Vin Diesel have a moment on the bridge where The Rock is like, all right, well, you've helped us. You got to leave the money. I'm going to give you 24 hours to get away. That's the deal. Because of, because of what you did and everything your team did, you got 24 hours. That's all I'm giving you. We're going to hunt you down. We're going to catch you. We're going to, you know, get you. Leave the money. You got 24 hours. That's the price. And Vin Diesel's like, also, yeah. And Vin Diesel's like, okay, that's fair. And gets in his car and takes off. Turns out, surprise, surprise, no money in the vault. Which is another issue. Mm -hmm. Why not just get away? Why not cut both of you free from the vault that has no money in it Mm -hmm. and leave? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It was dumb. I I don't like how The Rock decided to work with them. He's like, huh, bad guys killed my friends, so I'm going to team up with more villains. Yeah. Look, make make, make, make... Make no mistake, Paul Walker, Vin Diesel mm. are villains. They yes. are criminals uh-huh. with no regard for anybody's lives but themselves. Yes. Their family. <laughs> um, I think The Rock's motivation to switch was fine. Like his whole team. I, if The Rock it, just wanted to go after the bad guys, that's fine. Well, that's what it was. But, but it, it was teaming up with Vin Diesel? His whole team just got murdered by the the double bad guys, the extra extra bad guys, like Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, that their whole team bad guys for sure, but the guys who murdered the Rock's team were extra bad guys, and so the Rock is like, I want to take them out. I need to get revenge. Like you see it when the Rock gets out of his car and shoots the main bad guy, like that's the end of it. He's like shoots yeah. him twice, and he's like, that's for my team. It's like. He he was just like done. He's like I'm. I don't even care about the law anymore. You're gonna pay for what you did to my team, and so for him to be like, you know what? I'm with you guys. I'm gonna help you guys, and we're gonna work together. Uh, to me, that all yeah. made sense. Like it's one of the few things that actually makes sense in these movies. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It. I just hated it. What'd you think of the uh, Vin Diesel Rock fight scene? The hand to hand fight scene. It's like in the middle of the movie. Um, oh, I don't even remember it. They're in the it's it's right after the um where the Vin Diesel catches the motor and gets the information yeah. out of the guy, I think. Maybe not. Maybe that's a different part. I want to say that's the same place, but I, I might be wrong. But they get in a fight and they're like throwing each other through walls and like super punching each other almost to death, but because the other person like clearly had either one of them hit a normal person as hard as they're hitting each other, they would have disintegrated. But because yeah. they're so tough, they could take it. And it they could withstand like, the disintegration. Yeah. Um, I thought it was an okay fight scene. The It ends with uh, Vin Diesel on top of the rock, and he grabs a wrench, and he's about to smash his face, but he hits the concrete instead mm-hmm. um, because reasons. Vin Diesel's a good guy, apparently. I disagree, but that's for another movie. <laughs> the, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, in this one, I I was surprised how little actually happened in it. In my head, in my head, I thought six was five, and four was, or five was four. You know what I'm saying? I thought take out four completely and move everything down one movie is what I thought. Mm-hmm. Um. So like seeing it this way, it was kind of confusing, but it was fine. I don't know. Like, it's not good. It wasn't as good as I remember, but it wasn't terrible as like you think it is. Like I thought the the vault stuff was cool. Um, the car when they're in the cop car racing, I thought that was kind of a fun like a fun character moment for them. Do you remember that part? They steal the four cop yeah. cars and they're like, let's do a million dollar race, quarter mile race. Like, I thought that was a cool yeah. homage to the series to do that. Yeah, no, I, d- I didn't have a problem with that. And then Vin Diesel letting Paul Walker win. Paul Walker I win. I thought that was as funny. A gift. Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. The, the fifth one is tough. I, I, I agree. It's not good. None of them are really Does good. this one have Han in it, or is he not in this one? No, he's in all of them. He's in every single Justin Lin one. Okay, that's right. So, 
hey, I hear they're doing crazy stuff in Tokyo. It comes I ain't up again. going though. Yeah. He yeah. It, he's talking to Gal Gadot and about I think it. That's in, in the sixth one though. But it happens again, I think, in the fifth one. Oh jeez. They keep like pointing at it, and it's like an inside joke or something to Justin Lin. He's like, because he in the in the commentary, he's like, you know, I think it's important. I think the audience really appreciates when we like reference that. And it's like, no, it's, it's bad. Yeah. Like stop, stop doing that. Like it's annoying that you're, I don't know. It, the next one, it's going to get way worse. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I'm frustrated with way more in the sixth one than I am in this one. But anything, okay, so anything else about fast five. So there is the post credit scene. Yes. And Sorry it is that. Eva Mendez from number two. Was she and number two? Yeah, right. she was she was the undercover agent. That's right, yeah, yeah. But she's not she, in number six. She's in that no, and she's in number five in the post credit scene. Yeah, but she's not in number six. That's what I'm saying. No one is saying she's in six. I'm saying she's not in six. The post credit scene is building up to the sixth movie, so it's weird to bring her back for just the post credit scene for five. When she's not in they six, they just had to tie them all together. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's just weird that they would put her in the post credit scene and not use her in six. Okay, this is true. Because The Rock and her so, were working together at the end of five, but then she yeah. doesn't appear in six, is what I'm saying. That's weird. So she reveals to us that Letty is still alive. Yeah. That's somehow. They just have a picture of her. And it's like a big, what? That's crazy. How could she be alive? She definitely died in the fourth one. Like uh. there must be some huge thing that explains how she's still alive. But we won't find out until the next movie. Yeah. So <laughs> Oh, it's so I don't like these movies. Yeah. No, they're definitely bad. I I see that I know that, but they're they're fun. They're the craziness is going to triple in the next one. That does not get me excited for it. But it's fun. It's a fun thing. You'll it's see. It's not. It, you'll see. All right. Well, I think that's it for Fast Five. I don't think yeah, it sucks. we don't have anything to say, and I'm pretty sure we're just annoying people who are listening. <laughs> we're just saying it's bad. Um, but if you're curious about our thoughts on, uh, was it? Fast and Furious 6. You can go to our Patreon and check that out now, or you can wait until next week. It'll be out.